Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Billy. This is Crafting Cake with Billy. I'm super excited to have you guys here today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope by the end of this uh, video, you will be inspired and hopefully you will decide to subscribe. Um, if you have been here crafting with me for a while, welcome back. I'm so happy you're here. And today we're gonna work on going through this recipe book that I made. And this was a lot of fun. I was inspired by so many different crafters. And this book features several of my 800 subscriber challenge um, entry crafters. And I will show you a list of um, the crafters that you may see, you know, some of their things that you may see in this recipe journal. Pat's Paper Crafts, Southern Sandy Crafts, It's a Deal, Blessed Hands A&C, Creative Chica Halls, Lilo Crafts, BB's Closet Creations, Sharon S., Sincerely Latoya, Christy R. Crafts, and Karamia's Corner. Thank you guys so very much for your inspiring creations. Um, I will link their information below or you can go and check them out. Um, also, you should go and check out their entry unboxings. They did a spectacular job, each and every one of them. And I am just so grateful to have such wonderful crafty friends. Um, I also got several different recipes from this um, vintage cookbook, the new McCollis cookbook. And this one is um, copyright 1963, I believe. So this one is well loved. I got it from a used bookstore. And it has all kinds of, you know, older recipes and also some handwritten things from a stranger. And um, I think I also stuck a couple of those in there as well. So let's go ahead and jump in and um, see what is in here. So this journal is pretty large and I'm gonna measure it here. It is nine by 12 and a half with a two inch spine. And the front I have decorated with some pretty trim and some cabochons. And those cabochons were sent to me from a crafting company that wanted me to try out their products. I will link their information below as well if you're interested in these cute little cabochons. Um, I first put down a uh, grid paper for the base and then I added this beautiful sweets paper on top of that and then some of these really beautiful um, die cuts that were sent to me from one of the 800 subscriber entry crafty folks as well as this beautiful flower and I just love the shabbiness of this flower, even like the little pieces that hang off the threads on the side. Um, this beautiful vintage lace and all of this lace at the bottom and the gingham, beautiful paper there. Okay, and we're gonna open it up. And guys, this lighting is not the best. We have a pretty cloudy day today, so kind of bear with me a little bit. Um, so I added this side tuck and then there's a menu on the side and I added this cute little sticker. It says, in the childhood memories of every good cook, there's a large kitchen, a warm stove, a simmering pot, pot and a mom. So sweet. Um, I fussy cut out these cute little um, sweet items and added some um, recipes here in the tuck. So this is a recipe from Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. 
Um, and also an almond praline cookie recipe, and that is from a um, recipe card box. And I also made this um, card here with just some inked, some ink around it. And then there's another inked card. Okay. All right, and then this pocket here is from um, Blessed Hands Arts and Crafts. She made this, and I added in a little material pocket, a little material tag there. Um, this one is also from a crafty friend, and it's a shaker mason jar. Stuck that in there, and then I added a chocolate chunk, a chunky chocolate cookies recipe there, and then sprinkled with love, and then a burlap flower at the top. And this is a recipe card or a card from Southern Sandy Crafts. And then here's another from Sharon, a, ch a cherry coconut bar recipe. I'm so excited to try some of these recipes. Okay. All right, making sure I'm still in frame here. I added a pretty trim here in the corner and then some of that rope trim that was out during the Christmas season. Okay, on the next page, I added a cute little booklet that was made from Christy R. Crafts, I believe. And look at that pretty gingham paper. Okay, and then she sent me another blank recipe to write in my own recipes. Here is a recipe for white chocolate musical cookies. And then I made this um, cute little envelope with an upside down tag and I inked around it and then I put a little family tag in there. But I thought those were kind of cute together and those colors played well together. So I stuck those in this side tag. I just love the look of like red and yellow gingham for recipe books and things like that. Okay, and then this little apron is from um, ANC, um, blessed hands ANC. She made me this cute little card, but I love the apron, so I wanted to attach it to the front. And then inside of this little grocery bag, I just added a tag that I made, and then another tag from Southern Sandy, I believe. And this grocery bag idea I got from um, Pam over at Pam's Paper Place. I saw her do this in a journal and I thought it was so fantastic. So I wanted to give her a shout out for that. I added some vintage lace there, some 3D baking stickers. And then on this page, um, I added this pocket and it has this little oven mitt. And also it has some recipes, carrot cake, and the easy peach cobbler and that goes in there and then i added some vintage lace and then here's another recipe from sharon and i added this apple to the top and then i added a vintage photo of an apple pie and then there is a recipe and that is from the new mccall's cookbook this cute little card and that one is from uh, Christy R Crafts I just love the way she layered that it's so beautiful okay and then I got a vintage picture of an apple and pear and I put that in there as well as a vintage lemon photo and that is from a um, vintage cookbook as well. And then I added in some different pockets here. And I added one of Sharon's recipes, peanut butter balls and whiskey balls. 
I added a paper doily and a oven mitt. It says, let's bake and butter than ever. So those go in there. And then in my new McCall's cookbook, there were a couple of vintage papers in there. And this, these papers are very, very um, vintage. They are naturally aged. And this may have been from the owner's, um, the owner of the cookbook, maybe her granddaughter or great-granddaughter. But it says, Kimberly, peanut butter candy, one cup of peanut butter, one cup of corn syrup, one and a quarter cup of powdered sugar, one and a quarter cup of powdered milk, and some things to decorate with. Then you eat. Yum, yum. <laughs> and then there's a picture of apparently her holding that peanut butter candy. So I thought that was so very sweet. I don't know who's, um, who, whose child wrote that recipe, but I thought it was a cute addition to the recipe book. Okay, so this page, I added um, a recipe from Raina over at Lilo Crafts. Hi, Raina. And this is Grandma's Cream Cheese Pound Cake. So I added that to the Sweet Stuff page. Um, up here is a donut from Blessed Hands A&C. I added some, like this pretty photo of cupcakes. And then that cute little tag that I made. And I turned upside down this flag that I got from the Dollar Tree and I used it as a side pocket. And then there's as another little sweet treat there. Okay. And then at the top is another one of the little journaling cards. And these you can always write on the back, write a recipe or something or a note or whatever on the back. I added some lace and some decorative tape. I also made a couple of pockets here and then here is a little envelope with a tag that I made, little polka dots. And then it says, life is what you bake it. There are a couple other little tags and stuff in this back pocket. And this is from Lilo Crafts. And it's a little flip up, the little note. I always like to go back and look at notes from people and cards and stuff. It makes my day. Um, this is some washi tape that I reused and a little spatula, a little pocket from Lilo Crafts. And I believe this little rosette up here was made by Mary Roberts. And I just added a um, bake sentiment right there in the middle okay the next page is my coffee and tea page oh I, I forgot to show you there's like a little dangle here with a cupcake if you can see that and that um was sent to me as well in the 800 subscriber challenge this is the coffee and tea page. I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame so you guys can see. This is a vintage page from the new McCall's cookbook. Uh, drip coffee, coffee for a crowd, tea, all kinds of the older vintage ideas. Um, this is a recipe for hot chocolate, the kind that I like. So I stuck that in there. There's a tea tag recipe, well, a tea tag that um, was part of the 800 subscriber challenge, a beautiful mini doily and some pretty lace. I made a belly band there. And then I added a tag that was made from in the 800 subscriber challenge. And then I made this, this textured tag. And then I made this pocket here and it's stamped. And then I added three cups 
there since there were three coffee cups here. So I just stamped that and I thought that looked nice. So, and then there's another page from the new McCall's cookbook. And then this cute little lemonade and a pocket here in the front with three little cups. Okay, on the next page is my chocolate page, yum. Um, it says sprinkled with love and these are one of the sentiments that was given to me as well that was made for the 800 subscriber challenge. This is one of the vintage recipes from that same cookbook and look how delicious this chocolate cake looks and I'm sure this recipe is just delightful. I love vintage recipes. They always made the most wonderful creations, right? Recipes. Okay, chocolate pretzel cookies. And I inked around that to make it look a bit aged. And then this is just a piece of paper, get it done. And then I made a pocket here on the side and I stamped teaspoon, one eighth, a quarter and a cup. Guys, I apologize for this lighting here. Hopefully we'll get a sunny day pretty soon. Okay, and then here I did another side pocket with some chocolate treats and another vintage image and recipe. That looks so delicious. A white paper doily. And then these little tickets that were made in the 800 subscriber challenge and then these little cakes. And then I added a perfect chocolate frosting recipe and then I inked around that. And I thought that looked nice coming out of this pocket. Okay, this is my strawberry page. And this is not a strawberry recipe, but I thought it looked nice in this section and this is from Christy R Crafts and this is a pineapple and cherry dump cake recipe okay and then inside I made a menu and so it opens up and then there's the menu portion and it has the apple pie and then the rolling pin and then it has the whisk so that's in that pocket and then it has vintage strawberry recipes, strawberry parfait, and then some vanilla and strawberry ice cream. I thought that would look nice in there. Okay. And here is a vintage image from a cookbook. I also made a pocket here with a yummy spoon and then I um, stamp some numbers at the bottom as if it's a crate, like a crate to put strawberries in. And then I stamped from the kitchen of, and I also stamped some numbers just for added interest. These are some cake and cupcake strawberry cards that I thought would look cute there. Okay. And then I'm gonna stick the menu back Kind of have to keep adjusting this uh, so that you can see everything okay over here is um i made a pocket so it's one pocket two pockets yeah two pockets over here so this is just a card and i thought the number kind of looked like a um, number on a table so that's why i used that number i made just this little booklet for writing and I inked around that and then there's a menu so this uh, recipe book has plenty of writing space okay I'll stick that in and then underneath here in this pocket it's just a red card with a strawberry places for writing little recipes or notes and then there's another recipe card so there's a pocket here and then there's a pocket here behind this 
image of the strawberries. And then I um, stamped a whisk right there. I love kitchen stamps. Oh, and then down here, I added a Sweet Things sticker and then it opens up and then I added another vintage strawberry recipe in that pocket. So there's a flip and then two pockets. And then I added some trim here in polka dot and in the gingham. This thing is stuffed. Okay, on this one I added a, I recycled a piece of cardboard from, I think it's like some jumbo paper clips or something and I just cut off the writing and I made a pocket. And then I used some paper here, I believe Pam's Paper Place, uh, Pam Vanny sent for my 500 subscriber challenge. And then this is just a couple of cards for writing that I thought would look nice in the pocket. And then that little lime is from um, Blessed Hands, I believe. Then I added this cute little um, paper bag and I folded, I folded a piece of paper here to make it look like, sort of like a napkin sticking out the top. Here's a beautiful vintage image of a pound cake with the recipe from that vintage cookbook. And then on the front, I added a tag and then the macaroon uh, ticket, the mixer and the timer. This flips up for writing. There's a rolling pin and this flips up for more writing. So this is a beautiful vintage um, image of an old kitchen and I love that. I just really, really love that picture. And just look at all of the wonderfulness in that photo. I love it. And I added a corner tuck here that says recipe, uh, family recipe. And there's a corner tuck. And I added this um, recipe from Tony at Creative Chica Halls. This is the peach cobbler recipe. There is a recipe card here. And then this is from Latoya, her recipe for seared okra. And I thought those looked nice together. So I stuck those under the corner pocket and two mixing bowls. And then this paper here is like um, sprinkles, I believe, yeah. Okay, and then I fussy cut some uh, ice creams and I made a belly band down the center. And this is an actual vintage recipe from that new McCall cookbook. It was kind of stuck in between the pages. So this is in someone else's handwriting and this is for homemade ice cream. So I thought it would be kind of cute behind the ice cream belly band. If I can get it back in there. Okay, over here I have a recipe for sugar cookies. There's an envelope there, place for writing, and another place for writing. All of the little macaroon um, embellishments are from Blessed Hands A and C. Okay, um, here's another pocket that is textured with some coffee mugs. Spaces for writing or jotting down notes or recipes. Okay, I made a belly band here and I added this cute little envelope that I made and inked. It's always nice to have lots of writing space in a recipe book. So you can always add and add and add to your recipe book. There is a cute little picture with ice cubes and a like a pink lemonade there. I love this striped paper. And I just inked around that. 
on the next page uh, is a sweets page. This is from um, It's a Deal. She did some candy apples, and so is this little coffee cup. So cute. So I added the Hello Sweetie and Sweet Candy to a couple of pockets that I made. And then I added a couple of tags and inked around those to make those look vintage. And then at the bottom here, there is a um, pocket. And then I added a belly band to that pocket. One of my little mini envelopes here, measure, pour, and mix. And this is a cute little um, apron that was sent to me from, I believe, Ties Creates. But I thought it looked so cute in that envelope. So I stuck it there and then it goes back behind the belly band. Um, I also added BB's creation, BB's closet creation, her um, tag. I love those. And then she stitched around those and added some pretty lace. And we're almost at the end, guys. I added this pretty cupcake card. I just love the colors and the textures used in that. Um, this is another recipe here um, that was sent to me from BB, and she stitched around that. I love the look of stitched cards and tags. So very beautiful. And then here is another little flip with um, some cookies there in the corner. And another tag here from BB with some music paper on the back. Cause you gotta have music while you're baking, right? And these beautiful, beautiful um, dimensional stickers that were sent from Christy R Crafts. And I couldn't, I couldn't just, I couldn't bear to open them. So I wanted to stick them in cause they look, they look so pretty on this page. So I stuck those in there. Oh, and then that pretty cupcake image there. But this was a lot of fun. Hold on, I think I have one more page to show you guys. If you have stuck with me this long, thank you so much. I know this is a lengthy video, probably. All right. Now, this is the back. This is the back of the recipe book, I made a pocket here, and then I added a bunch of little uh, flat back pearls. Life is short, eat cake. Of course. And then I added a recipe card that was given in my 800 subscriber challenge, as well as this. And then I made a little booklet to write things in. And then this is the back. And then I just added this, you bake me so happy. And then there is a cute little donut there, a menu. Some of that beautiful sweet treat paper, a donut tag that says sweet. There is a cute little sticker that says Baked with Love and a tag that has some, that has a cupcake and a flower on it. And then the dimensional wooden spoon and spatula here in the corner. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe book. I certainly had fun creating it. Um, I'm gonna just flip back through it uh, pretty slowly so that you can see it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video because I certainly enjoyed making this beautiful creation. And like I said, please go back and check out all of the 800 subscriber challenge entries. They all did a super fantastic job. And I'm super grateful that they participated in my challenge. I will be having other challenges uh, in the future that you can probably check out. I would love for you to. I forgot to show you guys these cute little 
cherries. But um, yeah, guys, so thank you so very much for watching. If you are not yet a subscriber of my channel, I would greatly appreciate if you would take a second and do that for me. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. It helps me a whole lot. And thank you guys so very much for watching. Until next time, I hope you have a super fantastic day. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.